Welcome to Orthochitro. In this video, I will demonstrate the various features of a chart view. I will start by applying an indicator. I will right click and click on the indicator. This will open up the indicator selector view. I will now go ahead and let's say apply the RSI indicator. I can change the plots. I can change the lines, I can select on which panel I want to, for example here I want to apply the indicator on new panel, I can change the input and these are the user parameters for the RSI indicator. I will now go ahead and apply the indicator. Now I have the RSI indicator applied. Similarly, I can apply another indicator. Let's say I decide to apply the MACD and I click on OK. Now I have two indicators applied. I can also change the chart style of the bar. I will right click, click on Edit Chart Style, and I can choose the available chart styles for that bar type here I have candlestick and open high low close so I will select let's say open high low close and I click close I can also access the indicator and the edit chart style from the toolbar at the top of the chart view I can also display the data from which the bar has been built I can also view the bar information or the indicator plot value information in a pop-up I will simply click on the middle mouse button which will display the pop-up and if I move the mouse then the value of the corresponding bar will show up similarly I click the middle mouse button in the indicator pane this will show the information of the underlying indicator I can change the width of the indicator I can increase or decrease the axis width I can close any indicator just by clicking on the close button I can also scroll the chart horizontally by dragging this scroll bar button or vertically by scrolling the mouse wheel I can also increase or decrease the bar width by clicking on control and pressing on the up arrow or down arrow and I can increase the bar space by clicking on alt and up bar or down arrow as the case may be I can also access the chart properties by right clicking and click on chart properties I can change the color of the background I can change the font font size I can if I wish I can show the toolbar or not similarly with the scroll bar I can set the scroll bar height let's say to 50 the scroll bar becomes so I will just change it to 80 I can 
change the color of the grid lines uh, I can change the thickness for example change color. these are the various features for which the chart property is immensely helpful similarly I can also uh, change the y-axis properties I can select the scale type as fixed or automatic I will select fixed and I can change the grid line interval for uh, say to something 20 uh, the grid line interval is like ticks so okay change the color here to something smooth okay something one okay and i can also trade uh, for which first uh, let me connect to let's say the simulator which will generate so random simulator. data okay and I click on the show chart trader I will select an account uh, which will be like sim 101 and I can place order simply by right clicking and in the order confirmation dialog I select yes now I can simply drag this to change the order Or I can simply to cancel it I can simply click on the close button sell order for reliance canceled similarly I can also put a buy button buy order click OK and the buy order will be placed similarly I can also choose to submit a stop order or a stop limit order simply by right clicking on the chart and if I want to change any of the orders I can simply drag and drop I can order for reliance cancelled sell order for reliance cancelled I can also place an order from the buttons on the right hand side The chart also incorporates hotkeys from which uh, the orders can be placed. Uh, one can access the or change the hotkeys from the options menu. Go to hotkeys and you can change the hotkeys from here. These are the various features which uh, the chart incorporates. I will definitely find. Uh, the chart view interesting thank you